I am deeply moved. Her legacy will live on even after she doesn't. And I commend you guys for this. Zoe's policy, named after seven-year-old Zoe Adams, voted into approval tonight. Policy number 218, medical marijuana. Uh, better known as Zoe's policy. Ending a months long battle for parents JJ and Kim Adams. I think that they did a great thing and I think they know it and I think everyone else knows it. So, you know, a little a little bit of good to add in with any of the it, bad things has been, it, this has been a huge bit of good. Zoe has a deadly disorder called San Filippo syndrome, which causes seizures. CBD oil helps prevent the number of seizures she gets, but before her parents had to physically take her off campus in the middle of the day to give her the medicine. Now she can get her gummies once a day without leaving school. I am so thankful for this. Even though the policy passing is a victory, Zoe's parents, JJ and Kim, know their time with their daughter won't be as long as they'd like. It's been sweet because we know what it's for but you know in the long term we, we know what the outcome is going to be at least now they say they can help her and other children like her zoe's dad saying a zoe state bill could be in the future i want to keep going as far as i can go and who knows maybe you'll see us in dc fighting for it to be national it, 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 nothing's I, I thought this was too far of a stretch but look where we're at so nothing's impossible